I'm having a few issues getting my trailer hitch connected to the Nexus 3 axle, but I think I got it sorted out. So let's take a quick ride over to Lowe's, pick up some hardware, and get this baby installed properly. Lowe's is my nearest hardware store. It's about three miles away and according to Google Maps it takes about 15 minutes by pedal bike and eight minutes by car. So let's see how long it takes by e-bike. I'll record the ride on Strava. Still feeling out this combination with the Nexus 3, so I'm not riding too hard. Especially on third gear. But probably will have to punch it a little bit on this center intersection. This is just a small little spot. So I did actually just shift into third there while the motor was activated. Didn't really think that one through, but it shifted smooth, didn't seem to grind or anything. I guess we can talk a little bit about trailers. I really love the idea of cargo bikes, especially all the cool stuff that's going on in Europe. They're just building these really cool cargo bikes that do all kinds of things. And I definitely want to support that, and we need a lot more of that. But at the same time, for me, I can't really use them I ride the train fairly often and it's already uncomfortable as it is sometimes when it gets crowded so I need to have as short of a wheelbase as I can to shimmy around people and try not to be in the way. So I definitely would not want a cargo bike on the train. Um, and I, I do really like the versatility of trailers. You know, you just I just hang it on my wall, and when I need it, I take it down, and I just hook it on the back. So really, cargo bikes are somewhat particular to the usage, right? So if, you're, if it's a business or something and you know that you're always carrying a load and you need that space available, then cargo bikes are fantastic. But if it's for the once a week that you're going to go grocery shopping or pick something up that's too heavy for your rack, there really aren't too many situations that require a cargo bike for um, you know, pedestrian use for commuting or for getting around. The, the versatility of the trailer just makes more sense, in my opinion. I'd love to see what everybody else is using, so please let us know in the comments what kind of cargo you're carrying and what's your preferred method.
This is obviously the back entrance, which I, at first I took a little personal. I thought, eh, typical, they put the bike lanes in this dirty little back alley, but actually it turns out to be much more convenient because this is right near the uh, contractor's entrance. There's a lot less people coming in this way. And usually a lot of people don't use the contractor register when you're checking out. So works out pretty well. All right, let's go get us an eye bolt. So what I had to do so far is I shaved off about one millimeter off of the non-turn washer, that green piece in there, and I shaved off one millimeter off of the bottom of the hitch. So I need to figure out a way to get a chain tensioner on here. I do have another chain tensioner, but I can't use a standard chain tensioner because we don't have enough clearance with the non-turn washer. And what I'm going to do is to use an eye bolt that will slide around for the non-turn washer and fit in between the non-turn washer and the hitch mount. Finally torque the axle nut to 30 foot-pounds, which is about 40 newton meters. It's a little fugly, but it'll do the trick. I like to love you, love you. I like to love you night and day. If I may, may, may.